Hey, what is up guys? Bongans here. <laughs> this is gonna be a really bad idea. So I was baking cookies literally only 10 minutes ago and I was thinking it would be a really cool idea to make an entire beat with these gloves on the entire time. <laughs> so this is gonna be challenging because like, look at my mouse compared to my hand. I can barely independently move my fingers. Um, it's gonna be very hard to scroll my scroll wheel. Um, it's gonna be almost impossible to do keyboard shortcuts. We'll just figure it out. Let's get into it. <laughs> Interesting. Every time I use my keyboard, I'm like hitting the notes I want to hit and I'm hitting all of the adjacent notes also. So like here's a C minor chord. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna use a chord progression because there's no way I'm drawing in all those notes. Let's see how easy it is to control D. Hey, that's not horrible, I guess. Shift D. on here Ooh, this this analog feature on baby comeback is sounds really good hey, let's get the clap in Actually, let's take these first two notes and cut them into smaller notes and then draw our automation. So I gotta copy it. So that's holding control here and then reverse it. This is so painful, so painfully slow. I'd be, I'd be done with the whole beat by now. That wasn't too bad. Move that around. I'm telling you guys, a good open hat selection really sets the whole vibe going. Okay, let's, let's draw with this one. So now I want to do a snare roll like that, like that, and then it's going to be probably like right here. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds bad. Um, <laughs> that sounds better. a arpeggiator on the second bell I 
gonna bounce that to clips and then what on earth how did what <laughs> somehow I made a new track oh this is gonna be a pain <laughs> look at how many notes I have to delete <laughs> so every time my chord changes I want to delete the notes that overlap and move the real chord that I'm working with Ooh, that's interesting. So depending on if I didn't move it correctly, sometimes my quantizations made some of the notes overlap. Like listen to the, listen to how they're different. That's cool. That's really cool. So I need to do some variation of this hi hat. So like, um, how about? I'm gonna add this plugin called Flux MIDI. So basically with this plugin, you can do different filter types or you can just do the volume automation. So here's a preset called Pancake Rise. Add just a little bit of motion. Gotta catch those little details. I feel like I wanna like duplicate this thing over and add like a whole new section to it. Like maybe like just some lo-fi-ish drums. It was kind of high at for sure. Hey, that was pretty good. For right now I'm gonna add like a bass sound. It's not, it's not amazing, it's not amazing, but it's all right. This beat was definitely one of the harder beats I made recently. I need to improve my lo-fi skills in general. Probably just need some practice. But either way, I'm gonna arrange this whole thing out for you guys and you can check out the entire thing at the end of this video. Overall, what do I say about the oven mittens? Yeah, my hands are super warm. I can't really see any reason why you would want to do the oven mittens thing, um, but go for it. Let me know in the description if you do. <laughs> Another beat making video next week Thursday, live stream this week Saturday. Join me for both of those. See you guys later. Woo!